Hello, Pierre Renaud. Hello, Cristiano. How are you today? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah. You can see sunny day, so we are good. <laughs> Excellent. It's sunny. Uh, all right, so Pierre Renaud, today we will help our viewer on Swim to Fly to learn how to swim freestyle, uh, long distance, and how to breathe correctly without being exhausted after few meters so the, uh, the objective is to be able to swim maybe 50 meters or more yeah, uh, and course. relax yeah so beginners usually what they, they, they get very tired very easily yeah they get very tired about because they don't have the good rhythm on the arm first and because they don't breathe properly I can show you the first step for you is to learn how to fix the rhythm on your arm and then we will speak about the breathing how to improve the breathing. what is the rhythm on the arm the rhythm on your arm is to swim as you don't need to swim too fast you need to swim slowly and keep one arm on the surface every time one arm on the surface you pull in the water you pull hard and then when you come forward you stretch your arm on the surface to keep the arm all right can i see what it looks like a beginner yeah. some a people beginner, they most of the times they swim too fast on the arm so i will show you how they swim like this okay this is what we have observed oh, okay Oh, I see. I have seen a lot of people swimming like this. Yeah. So basically what, what I observe is they move their arms too fast. Yeah. They don't try to glide after each stroke. Yeah. They just keep moving and moving and moving. Yeah, there's and no position. They swim too fast. Yeah. They use a lot of energy. Ah, so, so how to use less energy and to swim faster? To use less energy, just to learn how to glide, you need to stretch your arm on the surface and swim one arm before the other. I show you, you just need to stretch on your shoulder, put your arm as further as you can. I show you what you do you have to do. Okay, so basically, one pull stretch and glide on the surface after each strokes. You slow down the rhythm, you glide as far as possible yeah. and you stretch on the surface. Yeah, yeah just so, keep one arm on the top. So I just saw you, do, you You don't swim very long now, you just swim like maybe six, eight meters. Is it enough? Yeah, it's okay. For now, we just need to fix the rhythm. You can, we don't speak about breathing on this first step. If you are able to swim with this rhythm for about six strokes, we can say that the first step is okay. Okay, can you show me the six stroke with a correct rhythm? One hand after another. Yeah. Pull, touch the water, stretch forward. Yeah. Fine. Then pull. No need to go fast no, with your you, arms. You need to swim slowly. As, if you swim too fast, you will use a lot of energy. The goal for you is to... Okay, we practice this. Yeah. So you take one breath. Relax. Six stroke. So one stroke, pull and glide. Pull and glide. Pull and glide. All right, Pierrot, can you come back another time? I look, yeah. I look underwater and I look from the front. Slowly, my friend. So, big breath. Keep your hands on the surface. I see. Don't sink your hands. Stretch forward. One hand after another. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So just before the beginner, they usually paddle and paddle and paddle. Now it's just touch the water, glide as far as possible. After the glide, pull underwater, relax your arms, go back again. Yeah. Can I try underwater to look at me? Yeah. Thank you, Pia. So the idea is to make sure your hand doesn't sink. Yeah. And course. you glide for six strokes to eight strokes for now. Yeah. To keep your arm on the top, just stretch on your shoulders. Okay. Like so I touch the water. I stay up. Yeah. I stretch my shoulder to go as far as possible. Yeah. And I, I pull on my arm, then I come for one, and I will just put my arm for one. When my other hand pull the water, at, that, at which moment do I need to pull? Uh, you just put your arm forward. Before to put your hand in the water, you can start the other movement fast. So you will pull with this one when this one go back. Yeah. Back, back and stretch. Back, back and stretch. Okay. So yeah. you, and you relax. Yeah. So when you are able to do that for five, six strokes, uh -huh. we can speak about breathing. So, breathing in, uh, in swimming is not natural at all. It's not like running or cycling. It's 
cycling and running is more natural in swimming is totally different so yeah that's true i have friends they are yeah. super good swimmer super yeah. good runners super good yeah. biker they are terrible and, in swimming yeah and they can only swim to two to 25 meters in freestyle and they get after bed the so we will speak about the inhalation in freestyle and the exhalation the most important to be efficient in the water all right so the first thing is about exhalation exhalation in the water you need to blow on your nose and blow out in the water you mean blow blow from your nose yeah blow from your nose and blow in the water don't blow out of the water just blow in the water i can show you in the water how i blow on my nose Is it possible to blow from the mouth as well? Yes, of course. We normally, we, for in competition, we we blow with the nose. If you don't get be comfortable with the nose, you can blow with the mouth. To, it's good to blow with your nose because it's avoid to getting water in your nose. Okay, if you get water in the in, yeah. in the nose, you can blow from your nose. If yeah. not, you can do from yeah, both. Yeah, you can do from the mouth. The oh. most important is to exhale in the water. Oh, for how long you exhale? Um, so that's the second step you need to to exhale completely but you need to control the exhalation you won't blow too big bubbles at the beginning you, blow, you will blow small bubbles at the beginning and then big bubbles before to turn your head on the side so you accelerate the blowing yeah you blow slowly first and yeah. then the more the more powerful just before you breathe you yeah. need to finish your blowing yeah so we we don't speak about you know the breathing reason you can breathe every two movement every three or every four there is no rules if you are comfortable only on one side you can breathe every time on the every every two stroke or every four and or every three stroke it's okay we just need to control the breathing and keep blowing all the all the way i can show you on the same exercise just we keep the same reason so we will, i will show you on four stroke i start slow, small exhalation and on the on at the end of the third movement i will blow big exhalation okay it's so the breathing reason you you show us how to blow during four movements underwater yeah. at number four you take a breath turning your head yeah yeah can, can you show me just before swimming just right here standing yeah. up yeah like this <gasps> so bubbles one strokes bubbles two stroke bubbles three stroke turn your head at number four breathe one two three four all right i see and you have to repeat this without yeah. being tired so we can see the difference i start small exhalation and then i blow big exhalation just before to turn my how head. do you turn your head exactly to make it comfortable yeah so when i turn my head i the most important thing for you is to keep close to the surface uh -huh. if you put your head up your legs will sinking and you will create resistance the goal for you is to stay as close as possible to the surface to keep the horizontal so when you breathe you will just put your you can put your ears on your armpit just stretch your arm and keep keep staying close to the surface okay so basically right just to make sure i i turn my head in the water i'll yeah. face in the water yeah but here i have seen many people they put the arms right here they put the head they line on their arms like this is it correct to do that like this yeah yeah, but they, 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 they roast? No, it's not correct because they will pull down on the arm. The goal for you is to keep the arm on the top so you can just keep oh, your arm like this. The difference, just your ear on your armpit, not on your shoulders because you will pull down. Just in the water, we can say half of your face in the water, half of your face out of the water. The goal, it's not easy. Don't worry, you, you, maybe you will swallow water for the first time, but it's very important to stay close to the surface. If you breathe too high, you sink. Can you show me? Yeah, I show you, just stand it like this. I will change the reason now. I, I will breathe every sweet, so I can breathe one time on the right, one time on the okay, right. Okay, every sweet. So bubbles, bubbles. Turn your head and breathe out face. Bubbles, bubbles. Turn your head and breathe out face. Bubbles, bubbles. Turn your head and breathe out face. I can see the idea is to go slowly with the arm, yeah. no acceleration, relax. No, of course. Okay. I keep exhaling slowly at the beginning and just before to turn my head, I will blow out a big exhalation before to turn my head and take a big breath on my mouth. Okay. So 
exhalation in the water, inhalation out of the water. All right. I can show you swimming? Sure. So I'm going to breathe every three stroke. Okay. Pull one time, pull two time, turn knot number three, ice in the water. Pull one time, pull two time, turn knot number three, ice in the water. Make sure your hands stay on the surface of the water. Awesome. So I saw your hands, every time you pull, you touch the water, you glide forward, you stay on the surface. Yeah. Can I see from underwater? Yeah. So now this guy is able to, if I repeat correctly, step one, turn your arms one after one to glide on the surface yeah. without drowning your hands. Yeah. Step number two, learn how to turn your head at the rhythm which is comfortable for yeah. you. Yeah. One eye in the water without pulling your arms down to keep your arm gliding forward. And blow bubbles during the strokes. Yeah acceleration to finish the bubbles yeah, control the breathing very important most of the time you will get out of breath not because of the inhalation but because of the exhalation so you need to focus on the exhalation how to learn how to control the breathing how to blow small bubbles at the beginning and big bubbles before to turn the end the goal is to keep oxygen in your, in your lung a bit if you blow two big bubbles at the beginning i can show you what the beginners do they blow two big bubbles at the, at the beginning they breathe every three but on the second movement there is no not enough air in the lung and they get out of breath very easily what happens if you don't finish your bubbles what happens if you do, don't finish the bubble if you keep air in your lung and you turn your head you will we call this the hyper hyperventilation so you will have too much oxygen and you will get out of breath also so you cannot uh, you cannot fill up your lungs with correct oxygen and you will keep the wrong oxygen yeah no it's good it's important to blow a uh, blow completely to blow up to exhale completely all right exhale completely and control the, the exhalation okay what if now I, I i can do that right i i have learned how to keep my hand on the surface one hand after another gliding relax stretch forward yeah. i know how to turn my head every three but i'm I'm practicing after 10 meters, I'm like <sighs> What's, wh why, why is it still like that? So, so if you are still out of breath yeah. but, but you, uh, I turn my head correctly yeah. I blow my bubbles correctly yeah. I glide correctly, but yeah. I'm still tired What's You are still tired, most of the time it's about the exhalation you, It's maybe because you blow, you blow bubbles too early Blow big bubbles too early or you don't blow enough. Is it you a good hair in your leg. Is it a good idea if I'm tired to maybe slow down and relax more? Yeah, the, the, the goal on your arm is to swim slowly to focus on the exhalation, to take time to to exhale completely. Okay. Yeah. Can you show me what is a super relaxed swim if I'm yeah. too tired? Relax. Yeah. I will breathe every time on the right side, so I will breathe every four movements so you can see my head. Sure. And see your head. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like when you slow down your speed, your arms and your strokes look more relaxed. Yeah. And you go slowly and you relax more. That's For what? Cool, huh? Yeah. For what I have experienced is people, they get tired usually because they go too fast, too fast, they tense up too much, yeah. and they don't relax their breathing. Yeah. So it's like fighting in the water instead of yeah. feeling it. Yeah. What What is the more important is to feel right, to feel you glide, right? Yeah, to feel gliding the position, the horizontal position, and to feel that for one stroke you can swim a long distance. Okay, Piero, I think, is there any other tips you want to say? or is No, it, I uh, think we spoke about all the things. When, when, when you are ready to start the training, you, you can start to practice the reason and improve your breathing normally at the end of the of this training you are able to to swim a long distance don't it takes time you need to keep practicing okay it's not really bad for the first lesson normally it's not, it's a sport it's not easy but you need to keep practicing 
but that's the good way to all right guys to thank you very stuff. much uh, for watching the video yeah, i hope uh, it will help you keep yeah. practicing increase your distance give us your feedback and don't forget to go on swimfly.com and to download the swim to fly app on your app store we will be happy to help you for the next video soon thank you pierono yeah. thanks all see you. cheers see you again ciao